Hello beautiful people and welcome back. We are continuing Slay the Princess. But we don't want to slay the princess, right? Silently good. Okay, we haven't tried turn around and leave yet. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He does know. That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the wow. cabin. Wow. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. That's cheap. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. It <laughs> stakes and consequences aren't emotional blackmail. They're facts of life, and if you had an ounce of maturity, you'd understand that. But fine. You turn around and trek back down the path you came. Oh, would you look at that? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. Ah, uh, okay, so it seems we cannot avoid that. There's always a choice. But let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who's ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of There's light. There's multiple cabins. So each princess I see is not the same one. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Wait, what's going on? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. You've doomed us all, you know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. You're on a path in the woods and at the end of that path you're here. Okay, no. <laughs> Don't you start grandstanding about morals. The fate of the world is at risk. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. The entire world ending wasn't enough to get rid of us. I don't think there's much he can do other than object. I wonder what else we can do to ruin his day. <laughs> if by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then the world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. The world hasn't ended yet, and you are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task. Oh, I did, I did not notice the words. 
are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. Yep, okay, heading to the cabin now that I'm definitely going to slay the princess. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I'm going to the cabin. Silently proceed to the cabin. If I can't run away from the cabin, then I'm just staying here in the woods forever. Stay in the woods forever. You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Oh, so maybe we can only do that in the beginning. But we already did a few. Okay. You know I can tell when you're lying, right? Please take this seriously. I am begging. A warning. If she will laugh. If we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake. Let's keep an open mind. The cabin interior is wrong. A confusing patchwork of many cabin interiors, all projected across what's almost the same space. It's all shifted. An inch here, a foot there, such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. The only furniture of note is a plain table, its legs all the wrong lengths, its material devoid of feature. The blade is your implement. If he wants us to take it, Maybe we should just leave it to collect dust, or better yet, grab it and throw- No, we're taking the knife. Have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect and no idea what we're dealing with. Right. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I- You can't just say that. But when they've listened to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess and through that action, save the entire world. Okay. If you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. What is there to lose? Who are we? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? Yeah, right? Nothing because you're going to pull yourself together. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job, so you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. You walk up to the wall neck. What are you talking about? You reap. But there was a mirror, and now it's gone. You know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find it again, and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see. No blade. The door to the basement oh, wow. creaks open. Oh wow! A web of branching staircases, all built from unidentifiable materials. Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get. Your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. An odour that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. Interesting way to describe something. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favour. You say that every time, even if it's like the most beautiful, well decorated and nicely kept and clean interior. You will still say that killing her is an act of mercy. 
but I highly doubt that one. I don't think that's the case, you know, it's actually not too bad of a place. Well, right now it's maybe a bit confusing, but last time it was beautiful. Her voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality, drags up the stairs. Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? No. No. No, thank you. Oh, don't be such a baby. I don't want to do this. We don't even have a weapon. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his day. You step onto the center staircase. Paths wind out around you in all directions, each step branching into its own staircases, which branch into their own staircases, and so on. You aren't quite sure if yours is taking you up or down, but at the very least, it's taking you somewhere. You concentrate on where you are, careful not to stray onto any of the many splitting branches that tempt you on all sides. You wouldn't want to have to backtrack to yours once you've made a decision that took you someplace else. And so you take one careful, focused step after another. One foot down, another foot down, another after that. You lose yourself in following the correct pattern, in following what looks to be the true path, the one that cuts straight down or up. But no matter the direction it goes, it certainly is the most true path. You know that much. You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. What? Time disappears, and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Physical sensations dull and then vanish, until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey, a continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. We stumbled across the a most interesting option, it seems. Ah, stop clicking that. Consumption and betrayal, skepticism and blind devotion, rivalry and submission, terror and longing, pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... as well. Can I help you? What? What the hell was that? What happened to us? Oh. What? I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. I am most certainly not here to kill her. I'm not gonna harm her. And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. <sighs> You're here to- He's just being an ass, we remember. Though I'm still not sure if we should trust you. Let's talk to her for a bit, try and get our bearings. She seems... normal. I don't remember what it was like before I was in this place. Why would I know what happened to you? Probably stuck down here forever, aren't we? There's no way out, and barely a way in. As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. So it's actually one more of her mouth. We can do that? I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can we, we can do that? Can we put her back? <laughs> you said you'd been here before, right? What exactly happened last time? Does it matter? Yes, it matters, but I'm not going to waste any more time prying out details if you're going to be so irritating about it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not already too late. You have a job to do here and you need to do it now. Ooh, new plan! Let's see if we can make even more of her. This is the most confusing option yet. Princess. Hi, princess. It doesn't matter. 
I've been down here for so long. What's the point of a name if there's no one around to use it? Well, there's two options. I only want to choose the first one. There must be something wrong with you. I'm the same as I was a moment ago. I don't feel like I've gotten any bigger. And what's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to get under my skin? She fractures again. I don't like where this is going. Isn't this exactly what she has been doing to us? Like the voices and the personalities which keep appearing? I guess that's only inside our head. And this is like actually in reality. Like physically we can... We can physically see her, right? While well, the voices which she creates by fracturing our mind are inside her head and she can see them. But then again, maybe she can see them and she's the only one who can because, again, right now, we asked her and she doesn't seem to see the other princesses, right? The other hers, right? Just as we haven't seen the other osses the other voices in our heads but she also didn't mention seeing them so maybe she just didn't mention them but they were visible in the actual physical world I don't know it's a, it's a bit strange I don't know if you guys follow me if you or if you don't neither do I which is why we need <laughs> to slay her I. now before things get more complicated than they already are. Even he doesn't know if he follows me or not. How would we even do that? Where would we start? We could always start by retrieving the blade. Can we even leave this place? I don't like thinking about what might happen to us if we have to go back through those stairs. Well, that's where the blade is. If you want it, you'll have to go and get it. I don't think we're going to be able to put her back. Kind of hurts to think about it, doesn't it? It's like everything we say just multiplies her. It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop stalling. You're obviously just making things worse. R3? Wait, that's not right. Go on. Take a step forward. Your foot lands. But it lands... different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. You find the blade suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to the couch. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. But this... Well, we can't... Do you not have anything witty to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Wow. Luckily for all of us, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all falls apart. I think he's gone. We were never going to salvage this, were we? What happened, what happened to, us? to us? What are what we? Are we? There, are there are parts of us that are dead, dead and, and the others, and the others they just, just don't fit. They just don't we can feel them moving around in spaces they don't belong. belong. It's, it's all so uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Did you do this? this? Did, Did we, we do this? this? Can, can, can you pull, can us, pull us back apart? Can you pull us back apart? We should help her. How surprising. I didn't actually think our actions had... It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Please, please, please. please. Oh no. Oh no. When everything is possible, nothing is. The illusion of choice. She's gone. Where did she go? And there's that mirror again. But 
but it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Yeah, don't look at it. I. There's no option to not approach the mirror. Oh, I don't like that silent. To decay. Why? Well, she when we brought a vessel for you, Mrs. Creature, again. It's a strange one this time. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing. And yet the rest of me is still the same. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be. But I am also none of it. As easily as you can stand to be you, you are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? It says that your heart is gentle. That even in the darkness you are guided by compassion. These ones are a contradiction. A winding kaleidoscope of paths and walls. They are stretched into a shape not unlike me, but it is a shape they cannot hold. They will make for a rich and vibrant heart. Do not mourn them, for they will finally get to know themselves. My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Perhaps. There's a lot of uncertainty with you, and this whole universe we have spawned in. The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves, but none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. We will know when we... Alright. I care about your gifts, but I have no preferences to burden you with. Okay. Alright. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Wow. A spiral vessel. New achievement, guys. New achievement. You're on a path. Whew. Alright, guys. We are slowly approaching path, all the endings. There's a think. cabin. It's getting more and more interesting. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. The most interesting part is how sometimes some of them remember stuff from the past. I love that. Alright. I shall continue this tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Or depending on what time of day you are watching this. But for me, it's morning. Let's continue. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. 
And in the basement of Whew. is a princess. Alright guys, welcome back to Slay the Princess. Now we had some extremely interesting endings the last few episodes. And I think I found the one of the strangest that I have decided to, in this stage right here in the forest, to turn back. And then to just keep turning back and then, and then stay there and then everything like turned into like a giant kaleidoscope and it was just like fractals and just everything just like shattered into a million pieces and that was not the best experience. But it was extremely interesting. You're here. Of course, I, I mean, maybe some people do. Mm. That's the spirit. <laughs> you make your way up the short path. We're not going to go through with this, right? Ignore him. All right. What shall we do this time? The interior of the blade. Okay. No blade. Let me just try something. Hello? This don't. Hi. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Please, come down. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist. She's beautiful. I am begging you to stay focused. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? I see what I can do. You're only making this more. Thank you. You're making no. You do walk a large and heavy. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Maybe doubtful. Maybe there's some way to break the chains. Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. She offers the suggestion. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about. We attempt to make your way out of the base. Is someone else here? You try the door. Your shout. You're here. Okay. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. Easier, easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. There's yeah, they left us. Panic rising in the so far, it's the same as as the gentle option. If I could just get out of these chains, I know. She barely as she rips her flesh. It's the or you won't like. Save the princess. We don't slay her. <sighs> Fine. A gate you cut. The blade is sharp, and her limbs. She didn't know. She smiles softly. How is she still smiling after everything? Thank you. No, we won't. As the princess. Yeah, the, na the narrator tries to again. Steps forward. And manipulate us. Warn her. Stop. Your body lunges. The princess dodges. Stop it. I can't resist this time, because we already did it once. Let's do the last one then. There's no getting through to you right now, is there? A betrayal of will is still a betrayal. Love. She pounces on you with the same animal ferocity she used to tear through her arm. We did not mean to betray, we just didn't have the option. But you have a weapon. You raise the blade, it's not enough to stop her. You feel you collapse to the floor. Your body unresponsive as your blood pools on the ground beneath you. One second. She stares down at your ravaged form. There we go. Eyes shining in the darkness. Dress stained in red as her blood and yours both seep into the fabric. If we're lucky, the wound you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very... It can't just end. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't... Everything goes dark. And you die. The witch. You're on a path. You're here. I can assure you, if you don't really, you did. The opportunist, huh? Bit of the Okay, turn around and leave. Proceed to the cabin. So, guys, what do you think we should do right now? Those are two very. Yeah, we already asked all of these questions. Of course, there were any. If it's the. You think that's a very good point. This. Princess character seems like a lot of trouble, and if you think about it, actually slaying her probably breaks us out of this cycle, right? You're laying it on a little thick, aren't you? Laying it on a little thick? What are you talking about? I'm sure what matters. 
is that almost everyone seems to be on the same page. Just be cool. People locked her in that basement. She is just a princess. Whatever you think. Like I said, if she... Look. Oh, look good. Also, you know you're right. I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just... Oh, if you want us to stand a chance against her, we need to be armed with information. Not as I don't think either of you really need to press the man on this. He wants us to slay the princess, so why would he have anything to hide? He seems like a nice guy to me. Okay, so now the the third voice, the opportunist this time, is actually on the side of the narrator. I appreciate the vote of Great. Oh, she will lock up. The interior of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots. The walls are chaotic Ooh. weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happened to resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's that's a new one. The blade is your implement. Very maybe that's because you haven't actually so focus. No blade. No blade. <laughs> Leaving it behind didn't work. It'll always be here if we need it. Sure, that was also true last time and we still died, but we definitely know what we're doing this time. Sure, sure we do. The door to the basement creaks open. Revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an open. The air smells of dirt and copper. Her voice. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. Yeah, she's little. <laughs> Hostile now. But you are. You're a wretched little thing. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. I did not. I did not do that. That was the narrator. I had no option. You see, she knows us. It may be, but you shouldn't let that cloud your judgment. She's just a princess. She seems friendly enough. You can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? You need to stop lingering. Your task fine? Fine. You're the boss. No, he's not the boss. Thank you. Oh, wow. You descend the basement steps, entering the dark room below. She looks like some kind of, like, feline cat and werewolf creature hybrid. Now? You can just make out the shape of the princess in the bloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. And there you are, once again seeming to offer a helping hand while likely hiding the other behind your back. Fine, I'll play along for now. What do you want? Uh, yeah, she remembers the betrayer. She didn't like want to. She already knows you. I guess what you said back in the woods really was true. At least the narrator agrees with us now? That's pretty sharp. How do you figure that one out? <laughs> Call it deductive reason. Well, you seem to be great at it. So, you really don't remember us, do you? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. 
I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. You fought us on it back in the woods. <laughs> exactly. That was when the only perspectives we had were yours and mine. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Is it all behind us? Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. Let's chat her up a bit first. May don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more di Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. <laughs> it's a very cute face. All right. So, I remembered last time. Look, I made a mistake. Ooh. Smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right. Oh, you're sorry. Isn't that nice? You're such a gracious little monster. Well, if you're sorry, then let me out of here. Prove it. Is that a joke? Do you think a joke will charm my trust back? You'll have to try harder than that. I suppose you didn't come into my hovel of your own accord, did you? All right. I suppose I could team up. I need a way out after all. And unfortunately, you're the only one I have. Seems to me like she's offering a mutually beneficial arrangement. We should take it. Do you know what the word mutually means? Because it sounds to me like she's offering an arrangement that benefits her and her alone. Of course. They're nothing to me. The princess grins as the chains fall from her wrist. Oh wow, so yeah, we were right. I thought she would like say some lie, but oh no, I can't. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little a woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Would I do such a thing? Is someone's guilty conscience getting to them? But I wouldn't worry. As much as I may hate you, letting you live is in my best interests. If you get me out of here, the only thing that will be dead and buried is the bad blood between us. Oh, that nagging feeling you mentioned is me, by the way. I'm actually a little anxious about a potential backstabbing event. She needs us to get out of here. We'll be fine if that's what we decide to do. You won't be fine because destruction is in her nature. If she gets out of here, that's it for the world, remember? Yeah, this one. <laughs> Even if that's true, that doesn't automatically mean she's going to stab us in the back. I think that depends on your definition of words like stab and in the back. She might not literally do that, but she could very well symbolically do the same thing. See? He gets it. There's nothing wrong with looking out for number one. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, let's leave. Yes, let's. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. She never breaks eye contact, even as the two of you find yourselves face to face. She's silent for a long moment, as if testing to see what you'll do now that she's within arm's reach. After you, darling. You're the one it lets come and go. It's best if I follow. Oh, no. We can't have that. If anyone is going to turn their back on anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. It shouldn't matter who leads and who follows. Well, if it doesn't matter, then she can go first. We may be in this together, but that doesn't mean we have to trust her. Somebody has to go first, and it might as well be us. We're the ones who broke her trust last time. You're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot be trusted. I don't know how many more warnings I have to dole out. But if you help her out of here, you're going to regret it. Okay. That's right. You're the one who's going first. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you watching every single thing you do. Let's see if we can trust her. That's exactly what I'm worried about. You step onto the stairs and begin your ascent from the basement. The princess follows close on your heels, 
You're only saying that because you want us to feel nervous. I do want those things, but I want them for a good reason. I don't need you to trust me for my sake, because I already know that I'm right. This is for you. Can we walk backwards up the stairs? I think that's the smarter idea. She can't sneak in and attack if we're facing her. No. The stairs are a bunch of overgrown roots. You'll trip and hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's the most logical thing I've heard today. But the princess is silent as you both continue the climb, and in no time at all, the upstairs of the cabin is within reach. Isn't that a relief? We're fine. You're not even going to wait until you're through that door to proudly claim your victory, are you? Why did you just say that? I think we know why. You feel something dig into your shoulder, sharp and piercing. The princess clawing at you and pulling you down with her full weight. Yeah, I guess that was expected. She... Together you tumble back down the uneven stairs, your body and hers crashing against the unyielding wooden roots until finally... You both separate with a bone-shaking thud against the basement floor. The princess lands against the far wall, gasping the as she struggles to recover from the impact. You're still in shock, trying to get a hold of yourself. She grins as you continue to remain exactly where you are, cackling derisively <laughs> as she watches you realize that you won't be getting up. Wait, why won't we be getting up? I'm afraid your back is broken. One unlucky fall is all it takes, really, and you had several. You know what? I'll say it. That sucks. I don't we were going to help her. Why? Why did she do that? It's what I would have done. Have you considered not being like that? Of course not. It's and yet here we are, paralyzed and stuck with someone who hates us in the oh. basement of a remote. Well, to be fair, we did the exact same thing to her last time. So, uh... I was hoping she might be a better person than us, but nope. She is the same exact reflection of us. Ooh, the mirror. She is a reflection of what we do. You must have known this was coming. The arrogance of turning your back to me after everything you've done. Maybe you were, and maybe you weren't. But even more than I wanted my freedom, I really, really wanted to hurt you. And you know as well as I that by our very natures, only one of us could make it up those stairs unscathed. Someone had to make the first move. Be See, this is why I wanted her to go first. I had this whole little scheme planned, where once she'd passed by the table upstairs, I'd have said, now pick up the blade and stab her in the back. And then you'd say something like, wow. That's an amazing idea that I never saw. Then you would have done it, and we wouldn't be stuck down here with a broken back. It's just one problem with her. And what's that? She was clearly planning to betray us. And if she was in front of us, she would have gotten to the blade first. Yeah, that's true. Ugh. You're right, aren't you? I thought this whole thing was ironclad, but really it was doomed from the start, wasn't it? The princess's body twitches as she tries to get up. Ho ho ho! So she's as bad as us. Her back is broken too! Okay, what a surprise she felt the exact same way we have. Something inside me is broken. Isn't that a cruel twist of the knife? Isn't that so... so funny? That's... what is that called? Karma? Is that karma? She eyes you with intensity, silence falling between you for a long moment as her gaze travels up and down your battered form. Seems I'm not the only one, though. Wait, are we both just stuck here? It certainly seems that way. What a way to go. But look on the bright side. In all this chaos, you may have actually managed to deliver a lethal wound. World We're going to die together. Isn't that a lovely treat? I wonder how long it'll take. Maybe I'll get to watch the worms lick your bones clean. Is that really what's going to happen? Hello? Are you... St I think he's gone. Something strange is twisting this place out of shape. Yep. I wasn't feeling much of anything, but now I feel cold. Yep, that's another vessel, guys. That's another vessel. She's gone. W where did is that? A but it feels so bad. If he thinks it's bad, I'm. Okay. Finally. The remains. You are unraveled. So we are now unraveled, apparently. 
What does that exactly mean? Alright, let's go and meet the creature and give her another, another vessel. Mm. High contrast text. Let, let's try that. Oh, it's like that. Nah. I'm good. <laughs> There's a world beyond the endless walls of Balong Quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know it. It doesn't matter if there are. People are too small for us. We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, Nothing can't exist. This one is hope marred by bitterness. She could see the end of the tunnel, and the door was closed on her. She will make for a righteous and weathered heart. Do not mourn her. She is finally on the other side. If I did, I would already be awake. Yeah. No, their minds are empty, existing, but constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? Look to one who fears me for your truth. The only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves. Wise. Wisdom. True wisdom. Alright. I'm ready to go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here. Alright. Alright guys. Here to slay.